Hey quilters, it's Heather from Wilmington Prints. The project that I have for you this month is our project that we call Starburst. What I love about this project is that it works pretty well with pretty much any of our strip packs. From our gems, our jewels, our crystals, all of them work really well together with this project. All you need to do is find a complementary background fabric, as you can see here, and then you're in business. For this quilt, we picked Coastal Bliss by Danway 9, which delivers to store this month. You can check out the rest of the fabric collection as well as the crystal packs when you're in your local quilt store. If you don't know where your local quilt store is, you can check out our website www.wilmingtonprints.com and check out our store locator. As always, you need to pick up your free instructions when you're picking up your materials for this quilt. If your local quilt store doesn't happen to have any of these instructions on hand, you can always download and print the instructions from our website. They'll be located on our projects page. For this project, you will need one Wilmington Crystals, which is our 24 count, two and a half inch strip pack. You'll also need one and a quarter yard of the background essential, one and an eighth yard of the first border, which is also the binding, and one and seven eighths yard of the repeating stripe for the second border. Once you're ready to start cutting, you're going to grab your strip pack and cut all of the strips into ten and a half inch pieces. There will be four pieces per strip. From the background fabric, you're going to cut a total of five eight and a half inch squares four six and a half inch squares and thirty two four and a half inch squares. Now that you have everything cut, you're going to start sewing. The first thing you're going to sew is four randomly selected strips to each other lengthwise using a quarter inch seam allowance. Once you have those sewn together, you're going to take one of your four and a half inch squares, flip it over, and you're going to draw a line, diagonal line from corner to corner, just like so. Then you're going to place it on top of your block here, and you're going to sew along that line. Now that that's sewn together along this line, you're going to go ahead and trim it at a quarter inch seam allowance, and then you're going to press it open. Next step is you're going to take your another one of those four and a half inch strips with a diagonal line cut drawn on it and you're going to place it on the other so adjacent corner of that block just like this layering over the first tri first squared off triangle. Go ahead and sew, trim, and then cut. This is what your block is your first block is going to finish looking like. You're going to go ahead and make 16 of these. Next you're going to take 8 of the previously made blocks and you're going to split them into two sets of four. For one of the sets, you're going to add an extra strip along the right hand side of the block. And on the other set of four, you'll add it to the left hand side of the block like this. You're going to sew them together with a quarter inch seam allowance and then you'll be done with that block. For your next block, you're going to take four of the eight and a half inch squares and add two strips along the bottom and right sides of the block. This strip up here you're going to trim to eight and a half inch and then this one you'll just leave it the ten inch, ten and a half inch that you've already cut it to. And this is how this block is going to finish. The last block you need to make is one that goes into the outer corners. You'll add a strip to each side of the six and a half inch square. The top one you'll go ahead and trim down to six and a half inch to match up with this. These two side pieces you're going to also trim down to eight and a half inches and this one you'll leave at the ten and a half inch size that you've already cut it down, already cut. You'll leave it at the ten and a half inch size. And this is how your final block will look. Now that you've finished up all your blocks, you're going to go ahead and start putting together the quilt top. You're going to refer to the instructions for the layout order of all the blocks and you're going to go ahead and start sewing them into rows and then sewing the rows together. You're going to add the borders as directed and then you're going to go ahead and baste the top, the batting, and the backing together and then quilt as desired. You'll add the binding from the leftover fabrics from the first border and then you're done. Make sure to like and subscribe for more projects.